Uh, next up, we have a speaker who uh, joined us with our No War with Iran rally a couple of years ago when we were on the precipice of war then. Uh, Terry Wright is with uh, Direct Action for Rights and Equality. And we're very pleased that you could take time of our schedule to join us um, with all the good work that they do uh, for the people here in uh, Providence and in Rhode Island. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. I want to start by saying war does not create resolution. Instead, war initiates violence, which creates death, mental illness, PTSD, isolation, withdrawal from society. This war has nothing to do with rights. And this is where we lack as a nation, where ignorance outweighs political will and the outcry for an agenda for peace and how we create peace as a nation and how we teach that same peace in our classrooms and in our communities to the current world order with respect nothing but respect to those who have served in the armed forces. I say again, war is not the answer. How we create peace as a nation is the answer. This type of war is not the answer. There are other wars we should be fighting, like the war on drugs, the war on gun violence, homelessness, police brutality yeah. and the abolishment of racist systems here in America. Yeah. Those are the wars we should be fighting. War in itself is a racist system in which invokes violence because of one's belief, power, perceived denomination over another. We need our soldiers home. The thought of war creates a narrative. The threat of war manifests violence. Yes. As a child, I absolutely hated the 4th of July. And at night, I would lie awake in my bed, listening to fireworks, sleepless and afraid. The sounds of fireworks getting louder outside of my window with each bang. And I couldn't get the image out of my mind that it was just the 4th of July's fireworks. I thought we were at war. I believed war was inland. Well, it is, but it's a different kind of war. The war for our rights. I want to say stop creating new Arsenio and new guns. Stop giving guns to other nations. Because every time a new gun is created, the old guns end up in our communities. War is not the answer. Thank you.